So we didn't get ourselves a snake today, but maybe I'll get one sometime. Okay, I didn't do my hair today, that's why it looks all crazy, but the snake is back. This is the day after I try to catch it, and this time, I'm just using a net that I use for fishing. Let's see if I can get him. So because I don't have a cameraman right now, um, I just have the camera on a fence. So when I catch him, I might go out of frame, but I'll be sure to get him up close for the camera. So wherever he goes, his head goes first. So if I get his head, he can't go anywhere. Again, he's not an aggressive snake. Got him. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna throw the towel in with him. Just like that. All right, he's not going anywhere. I'm actually gonna take him on the concrete right now. I think it's gonna be a little bit easier for me. Um, and then I can catch him. Okay guys, he's not, uh, okay so guys, he's not that active right now. I do see where his head is, but I don't wanna just grab him. I'm gonna try to get him out of the net. There we go. Non-venomous snakes, people don't get this. They're actually good for the environment. They'll um, eat rats, they'll eat mice. Where's his head? If he wanted to bite me, he could easily bite me right now. We're within range, but he is actually being uh, very, very like calm. If he actually wanted to like hurt me, he'd just bite the net right now, but he's being pretty calm. By the way, I don't know if I already said this. Uh, this is a red-bellied mud snake. They live around water. That's why he is um, always hanging out near this creek in my backyard. Not even a creek, just like a swamp. There we go guys, I finally got a good grip on his head. So right now he can't bite me and I'm actually being very gentle with him. Uh, I just wanted to get him up close for the camera, gonna get some cool shots of this guy and then I'll let him go. Okay guys, he started slipping out of my hands because I was grabbing him through the towel, not grabbing him with my bare hands. Okay now when you grab snakes by the head, you're gonna wanna use these three fingers right here, your thumb, uh, pointer finger, and your middle finger. Your index finger is gonna go on top of his head and then your thumb and middle finger are gonna go uh, on their jawline. Just like so. So I grabbed him through the towel. That doesn't give me um, a better grip. I'm gonna go let this beautiful snake go. They actually do have a lot of cool colors. Uh, if you look underneath them, that's why they're called the red-bellied mud snake uh, because it's like a reddish orange. And they're just a mud snake with a red belly. Now if I were to have a snake for a pet, I wouldn't pick a species like this, but they are extremely calm and as you can tell, he hasn't even tried to bite me. When he makes his way to the water, he's just gonna swim away. Also, when you're catching snakes that are this long, you can just pretty much grab their tail. Right, let's watch this. There he goes, and he's been living back here for um, probably a couple months now, and he just hangs up on land right over there. But as I was saying, when you're catching uh, longer snakes, as long as they're non-venomous, of course, you can pretty much just grab their tail, hold it away from you, and they usually are not able to uh, bite you because they're so long. Okay guys, I hope you learned something from this video. Even if you're not planning on catching any snakes, uh, I hope you just enjoyed the video anyways. If you wanna check out my last video, click right there. If you wanna to subscribe to the channel, click right there. Now as always, stay fishing.